Hey, my YouTube fam. Look, this sun is out today. Let me try to try to block it a little bit. Yes, so, sir. So it ain't so blurry. Hey, y'all. Kingfish. That's his name. That's his name. I um I couldn't remember this guy's name yesterday that I was talking about. I'm back in the car. Today, another video in the car. Uh, just got through doing a little service at one of our, our elderly people's Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, yes. At our house, doing a little, a uh, little church service, taking a little word and prayer and praise. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge Him. And he shall direct your path. Yes, yes, God. So, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? I hope y'all having a nice, prosperous day. It is Sunday eve, Sunday, about 3 o'clock, 2.55. And like Kingfish said, I'm about to go chase a fish. <laughs> I'm about to go do a little bit of Uber. Before I go in the house and get ready for work for the work week. I'm just going to stay out here for a little while because we got games going on, football games and stuff. And in, uh, in the region supposed to be hot. We'll see. What the heck? The region supposed to be hot today. And the problem with Uber, it ain't no you know a small area is like the whole whole region whatever it is is supposed to be hot and you're supposed to get like i ain't sure uh what it mean yet but it's like 1.9 and uh, i know yesterday i did that when i was out there doing that 1.9 um when i was driving in between 1.5 and 1.9 i drove for like two and a half hours was it two and a half hours? And I made like $60. So, guess what? <laughs> I'm at it again. <laughs> I'm at it again. I think I'm going to drive for like about two hours and just see what I can get. I had a certain amount of money that I wanted to make today. I mean, over the weekend. Uh, because I, won't, I knew I wasn't going to do it all day. So I had like a certain amount I wanted to make this weekend. I'm only $40 away from it. So once I make $40, I'm going in the he's app. So okay, you understand what I'm saying? And um uh, he gave me he gave me a good uh he gave some good pointers. I think it was him. Uh Kingfish gave some good pointers about being in the middle. Of, of like where you want to like where you want to be at and where you want to deliver at you got to go deep into that area in the middle and I did that yesterday I went deep into this area and um, I only had to sit for a minute and then it's like bam I was I was dinner time I was moving I was moving and grooving and they didn't take me out of <clears throat> The, those three cities that I like delivering in. Other words, I didn't have to go into the hood. Cause once they start giving me orders where I got to go into the hood, I'm out. I'm done. I'm not. I'm not getting ready to do all that. Uh, and I had me a rider yesterday. Rider die. So um, I was out there till like six thirty. Like I told y'all, I ain't trying to be. When it's dark, I'm in the house. I don't, I don't care. I'd leave that money for somebody else. But it's Sunday, though, and I got to get ready for my work week. But uh, I just gonna, just want to make a little extra money this week. Like, well, well, okay, let me stop saying there ain't no extra. I just wanted to make a set amount of money this weekend to add to my bank account. And, I'm, and I like that. And uh, he, he, like Kingfish, you know. You kind of pushing me. You kind of motivating me to um, 
Yeah, I'm trying to let my hair grow back. I ain't don't look bad. You motivated me to uh, get out there yesterday. And actually, I'm still motivated to. And it, it's crazy because, look, listen. Because my rider that I had yesterday, I motivated him. Now, he, he out there doing it. I'm like, dang. So, uh, yeah. I'm by myself. Mm. It's cool. It's cool. I'm just going to go get a little bit. Go get a little $40, $50. Add it to my, add it to my pile. And then uh, cash out. Go to the heat out. Mm -mm. Go to the house and um, start getting my, getting my little lesson plan together for the week. To teach the kids. Um, Cause yeah, y'all know I'm a daycare provider, <clears throat> but I don't watch kids on the weekend. I could, but I don't have none. So sometimes I just these two little boys on Saturday, but not uh, often. It'd be like at night. But <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going up here to this spot that I was at yesterday that treated me right, right, rice, Lord Jesus treated me right it gave me some um gave me some orders kept me in a good area except for oh, let me tell y'all yesterday i had to pick up this order at mcdonald's ooh, ooh, they was testing my christianity let me holler at you no they were not testing my christianity but they was slow. Do you know I sat there 20 minutes in that restaurant? I was so mad. I was so mad because it was in that time zone where it was that 1.9. And ain't nobody trying to be in that, be waiting in no restaurant for no doggone food for 20 minutes. Not especially McDonald's. What in the world do you have in this place that take 20 minutes to cook? Nothing. You know why it took 20 minutes? Because you was running your mouth and you didn't put it in there for 10 minutes. Then you put it in there. This stuff ain't you. Chicken nuggets. Chicken tenders or whatever. Y'all ain't dropping them in no doggone fry. No, no oil. All they did. They was, like I said, they was running their mouth. And they didn't put it in there. I asked them, I specifically, when I, I asked them three times, was the Uber ready? Uber order ready? I said, you know what? The second time I said, you know what? I'm about to cancel this order. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to do. I'm about to cancel this order. And I'm gonna, I'm just going to tell Uber that y'all, this, this was taking too long. So I waited. I waited a few minutes. Like five more minutes went past. Then the guy put this, he put this box up there in this little area, right? And I said, I bet you that go with the Uber order. And I bet you that's what they waiting for. And I was waiting for some tenders, some freaking chicken tenders. So the girl, this girl came over. And it was, it was a manager. Oh my God. I'm like, I'm going to need for y'all, if y'all timid. Y'all scared of y'all workers? Stop being a manager, cause your cause your workers running the store, and they doing a bad job, and they giving you a bad name. If that's your schedule, if you the manager, then manage it. If you can't be a manager and control your staff, I ain't. You might not be able to control them all the way, but at least control them enough where they ain't got yo. They they don't have. They not giving you a bad name on your schedule as a manager. Now, if it's just one, you know, it, it is what it is. But your whole staff? No, baby. Mm-mm. No. Uh-uh. Everybody ain't manager material. I ain't getting ready to be no manager at McDonald's or something like that, and my staff gonna run over me. No. You know what? Hey, you fire, you fire, and you fire. Because I got some cousins <laughs> and some friends that will come up here and work for this. You understand me? They'll laugh have fun, do whatever they're going to do. But guess what? At the end of the day, I don't care. Work. Get my food out. All these people sitting in this in this lobby waiting. Waiting. No. You can laugh. Kiki, hee hee. Dude walking across the, across the thing. 
uh singing on what's that crazy girl song um that girl that's into it with Lil Kim I can't think of her name singing her song I'm like boy girl <laughs> you're giving this spot your manager the store a bad name for real you're cussing you're acting foolish you don't have no net on I'm glad I wasn't eating that I'm not because he ain't had no net on his head or nothing it's like no mm -mm, I ain't eating at this restaurant even if I have to pick up anything today I will not be no, I don't want none of your hamburgers I don't want none of your fries I don't even want your coffee you can keep it mm -mm. no no ma'am no sir <clears throat> nope. I ain't never sending nobody to that McDonald's. And it's bad. It's bad. And it ain't in the hood. Listen to me, people. It ain't in the hood. No, it ain't. It's in a good area. But when you got your people acting like they can't work and they can't leave their personal life outside of the job, then that's a problem. Get your life. Parents, we got to teach our kids communication skills. We got to teach our kids how to have, we got to teach them customer service skills because you never know what type of job they're they going to be in. They might be in customer service one day, so teach them customer service skills. Teach them how to comb their hair and pull their pants up and not say certain things while they at work and not be dancing and, and singing. Leave, teach them how to leave the world in the world when you go into your job. That's what you got to do. Just teach them, please. You know, I did the best that I could with my kids, but I taught them how work ethics. I taught them work ethics. That's what it is. Work ethics 101. Teach your kids. If you can't teach them nothing, I mean, you can teach them some stuff, but if you want them to get up out of your house, get a job, take care of themselves, teach them work ethics so they can take care of themselves. Because ain't nothing worse than taking care of your kids and you, they ain't bringing no money in your house and they in their 20s. No, that's foolishness. That's foolishness, y'all. Let's get this together. Let's. I, I ain't mean to, for this to be a parenting class, but mm -mm. all my kids, when they turned 18, I had four of them. All, they was girls and boys. They was like, mm -mm, I'm out of mama's house at 18. My son, now nah, I think he, he hung around till he was like 19, 19, 20. He hung around. Um... But I had rules. I had regulations. And if you can't abide by them, go get your own place. I ain't playing. I was married. My husband, you know, whatever. No. Go get your own rule. Go get your own house. Your own set of rules. Do what you want to do. You ain't going to do what you want to do in my house. No. It ain't happening, Captain. It ain't happening, Captain. So, yeah. So help your kids. Yeah, that's all we doing is when we teach them work work ethics. People, we helping them out. We we helping them to be productive citizens. You know what I'm saying? So they ain't out here running the streets, getting in trouble. So teach your babies. So I ain't gotta come back in this dog on McDonald's again and um restrain myself from raising sand. Hey, that's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm sitting here. I gotta get off of this thing and uh swipe on so I can see if I can get a little time, get a little forty dollars, forty fifty dollars. Man, that son. Yep, my time is up. So, peace out, y'all. Love you. Be safe. Y'all pray for me while I'm out here. Um, keep your head up. Boop, boop. See y'all later.